For the 10 most outrageous moments in NASCAR history. Number two. And there's a fight between Cale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. The fight, that's when men were men. Cale Yarborough was involved in this race with Donnie Allison. Two guys fighting for the same place. Cale Yarborough, Donnie Allison, who's going to win? But the white flag is out. One lap to go. When they took the white flag, I knew it was just a matter of Cale pulling it off down the back straightaway one more time, and we're going to go to victory lane. They went racing toward the white flag, and I never saw them again. <laughs> Him. <laughs> don't don't be kidding. He ran him too low. Both of them ended up in the wall because they were just deliberately turning into each other and, and made the crash over there. At the time, and Richard Petty wins the race, but nobody cared. And there's a fight between Cale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. And it's not over. You know, you think the winners won the race, and now we got a fight. Cale started yelling at me that the wreck was my fault. I think I question his ancestry. What's happening out there on the grass beside those cars? The Teppers overflowing. They're angry. They know they have lost. Kale lunged at me and hit me in the face with his helmet. Kale's got one leg up in the air, and Bobby's trying to punch, and Donnie's trying to time, trying to trip somebody. Here's Donnie and Kale and Bobby, and they're off in the mud over there like they're having a mud wrestling contest. He'd always say that he kept running his face into his fist. Running into Bobby's fist with his face. He went to beating on my fist with his nose. That is what made me want to be a race car driver. Like it or not, that's really what put NASCAR racing on the map. People started going, wow, is it going to be like this every week? Do they fight like that all the time? Absolutely not what NASCAR wanted the world to associate with our sport. It's one of those moments in time that, that catapulted this sport into national prominence.